everyone. This is Mrs. Teeters. I'm coming to you from my house into your house, which is how we're going to have to do things for a little bit. Um, we usually call this morning meeting, but I don't know when your family is going to watch the video. So I'm going to change the name to circle type, but it will have the same things that we do during our morning meeting. And I hope that this helps you have some consistency in your day and some routine in your day. And I'm excited to get, do this with you. We're going to start with our hello song. And we're just going to do it for everyone all at once. So here we go. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. We're glad you came today. So we're going to look at our mood meter here and see how we're feeling today. We can be in our calm space and our relaxed space down here in the green. We may be happy or we may be surprised or being silly today. Those are some choices that we have and that's on the comfortable side of things. We may be over the uncomfortable side of things. Over here in the blue and the red. We may be feeling sick, we may be feeling sad, we may be feeling sleepy, we may be feeling hungry or hurt, and that's a blue. We may be feeling angry, we may be feeling annoyed or confused or nervous. All of these are your own feelings, and you're allowed to have any of them that you are in. You can share with your parents now how you're feeling. Are you in, you can use it by your choice boards and your communication device and just use the color that you're in if you need to. I'll give you a moment. I'm going to tell you how I'm feeling. I'm actually over here in the nervous side. I'm going to point to the red because I'm not quite into the red, but I am nervous because this is my first time to do this. But I'm excited to do this with you. So there's our moods. We're gonna move on to our calendar now. So we will look at what day it is. We're still in March, which is a wonderful thing. And today isn't the first day of the week. It is the second day of the week, which is a Tuesday. So it is March, Tuesday, but it's the last day of the month, so it's the 31st. We'll put up the thing that says today is 31. Great job. We're going to write it on our daily memos. So here we go. We're going to write that information in our daily memo. So today is Tuesday, and you can spell that word with me. Tuesday, and it's March, and it's 31. And the year is 2020. Wonderful. Now we're going to move on to talk about our weather. Now everybody's in a different spot right now, so everyone has different weather right now. Where I live, it is rainy, so I'm going to have my arrow point to rainy. So it feels cool. And I'll point that right there on the cool. And we have 42 degrees here in North Bend. So we'll write our weather is rainy. That word is R-A-I-N-Y. And our temperature is 40 two degrees. That little tiny zero is still there. Okay, so we've done our feelings. We've done our calendar. 
we've done our weather. Now, it used to be that we'd do our math by counting and using the trampoline. But unfortunately, not all of us have trampolines at home. So what we will do is do an addition game. I have giant dice that I will roll and we will look at what numbers on that dice and we will make a math problem out of it. So I will roll it. Oh, that is very loud. And that is, let's count it, one, two, three. Three, so I will write three on our board right here. And then I'll roll it again. Let's roll it quieter. Ooh, a little quieter. Oh, I got a three again. Let's count that. One, two, three. There we go. So if we have a three and a three, let's count them together. How many do we have in all? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll write the number six. Great job. We have a number one now. <gasps> we'll write a one. And there's our plus sign. So we'll roll the next dice. <gasps> what number is this? Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll write our five here. Line, belly, and his hat. There we go. So let's count our numbers all together. One, two, three, four, five, <gasps> six. Good job. We'll write our six right there. So our pro and problem is one plus five equals six. We're going to do two more today. Here we go. What number is this? One, two. And there's our two. And we'll roll the next dice. <gasps> what number is this? One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> we got a five again. So we'll do our line and a belly and his hat. So let's count our numbers together. One, two, three, four, five, six, <gasps> seven. There we go. Seven. Let's do this problem together. Two plus five equals seven. Let's do our next problem. What number is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll write our six right here. Let's find out our next problem. Oh, what number is this? One, two. We'll write that two right there. Let's see how many do we have in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's remember how we write our eights. We write an eight by writing an S and closing it. Good job. Six plus two equals eight. Do we want to do one more maybe? Let's move on instead. So we have our mood meter done. We have our calendar done. We have our weather done. We did our math. Now we're moving on to our book. So our book today is The Day Jimmy's Boa Ate the Wash. So I'm going to move up closer so you can see the pages. The 
the day Jimmy's boa ate the wash by Trinka Henka Noble. How was your class trip to the farm? Oh, boring, kind of dull, until the cow started to cry. A cow crying? Yeah, you see, a haystack fell on her. But a haystack doesn't just fall. It does if a farmer crashes into, into it with its tractor. Oh, come on, a farmer wouldn't do that. He would if he were too busy yelling at the pigs to get off our school bus. What were the pigs doing on the bus? Eating our lunches. Why were they eating your lunches? Because we threw their corn at each other and they didn't have anything else to eat. Well, that makes sense, but why were you throwing corn? Because we ran out of eggs. Out of eggs? Why were you throwing eggs? Because of the boa constrictor. The boa constrictor? Yeah, Jimmy's pet boa constrictor. What was Jimmy's pet boa constrictor doing on the farm? Oh, he brought it to meet all the farm animals, but the chickens didn't like it. You mean he took it in the hen house? <gasps> yeah, and the chickens started squawking and flying around. Go on, go on. What happened? Well, one hen got excited and laid an egg, and it landed on Jimmy's head, the genie's head. The hen? No, the egg. And it broke, yuck, all over her, all over her hair. Well, did she, what did she do? She got mad because she thought Tommy threw it, so she threw one at him. What did Tommy do? Oh, he ducked and the egg hit Marina on the face. So she threw one at Jenny, but she missed and it hit Jimmy, who dropped his boa constrictor. <gasps> oh, I know. And the next thing you know, everyone was throwing eggs, right? Right. And when you ran out of eggs, you threw the pig's corn, right? Right again. Well, what finally stopped it? Well, we heard the farmer's wife screaming. Why was she screaming? We never found out because Mrs. Stanley made us get on the bus and we sort of left in a hurry without the boa constrictor. I bet Jimmy was sad because he left his pet boa constrictor. Oh, not really. He left in such a hurry that one of the pigs didn't get off the bus. So now he's got a pet pig. Right there. Boy, that sure sounds like an exciting trip. Yeah, I suppose if you're, you're the kind of kid who likes class trips to the farm. The end. So that ends our morning meeting, our circle time, as we'll call it now. 
and I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to having many more until we are ready to come back to school. Enjoy your day.